this lesson, I'd like to consider the control and configuration of workflow with inside Sage CRM. We can see that I've logged on as a user called Graham Rogers, and I'm looking at a list of cases, and I've also got a listing of notifications associated with those cases. These notifications would appear wherever I was working inside the system, and these rules are ultimately uh, controlled by the settings that the system administrator has created. If I switch over looking at uh, the options that a system administrator might have, we've covered some of uh, the factors when we looked at uh, the creation of those simple notifications in another lesson. But here I'd like to consider the overall configuration and control of workflow within inside the advanced customization area. And so I've navigated into administration, advanced customization, and I can see here the option for workflow and escalation configuration. We see that we have a number of different options available to us. The first options are to do with the control of whether or not user-driven workflow is available for a number of different entities. You can see that seven entities are controlled in this way. The control of workflow is really to do with whether or not workflow uh, is enabled for these entities. These are to do with the administrator defined behavior. I've just switched over here looking at my user Graham Rogers at the list of cases and we see that we have an option here to create a new case. If I select this option we'll see that we're using an inbuilt set of behaviors known as the uh, workflow and within this screen we see that a number of fields are set with certain values. So in fact what's happening here in this screen is that we are following rules laid down by a particular workflow progress. If I'm not in a position as a system administrator to define a particular workflow progress then this can be switched off. So if I was to switch off the workflow for cases then it would not it, then it would mean that I would follow some generalized behavior of the system. It doesn't mean that I'm no longer able to create a new case. In fact, we can see here the new case button still exists, but in this instance, now when I press the new case, what I find as a user has happened is that the screen is different and we see that the fee all of the fields within the status area of the screen are now open to me to change. These are generalized fields and we are not following the particular rules defined by the graphical workflow. The process of creating a graphical workflow is discussed in another lesson. So what we've seen in this instance that the idea of turning off or turning on the workflow is to do with the use of the defined graphical workflows. And here I'm re-enabling that cases workflow. Now I'd started off by looking at the definition of escalation and notification rules. Within Site Sage CRM, escalation and notification rules follow the same internal mechanism for behavior, although they are in fact slightly different in user definition. So they are defined in a different way, but technically they operate in the same way. And we see here we are able to turn off escalation completely from within the system. If that is turned off, then all notification rules, whether displayed on the screen or as a result of an outbound email, would be disabled from within the system. You may want to do that to 
experiment with the consumption of resources as escalation rules do consume amount of resources and within a test environment you may want to narrow down whether or not a set of escalation rules are causing a particular issue uh, as part of a, an investigation of a customer problem. So escalation rules can be switched off or switched on and we can see that there's a notification interval set uh, for 300 seconds. This is the interval that is used across all of the rules to, de to determine whether or not a check uh, should be f should take place and the rules should be fired. Notification intervals can be changed either here which will affect all rules or individual rules can have an, an interval change to affect just that and when we look at the definition of escalation rules we'll look at the idea of notification intervals for an individual workflow rule. The notification display count refers to the maximum number of escalation or no notifications that would be displayed on the screen before a message says too many escalations to be displayed please dismiss. So you've got to snooze or dismiss before uh, you're able to see other notifications. We have an option as well within Escalation Engine Tuned 4 and the two options that we have are to look at immediate delivery or system performance. What would happen with immediate delivery is that any data that is entered or edited within the system is immediately checked against any rules that are associated with that entity. So if you have a notification rule associated with opportunities and you change or insert a new opportunity, there would be an immediate check. If you change that to system performance, then the data, the newly entered or newly changed data, would only be checked as part of the standard notification interval. And you can see that that would have an effect on a very... Uh, uh, on a very busy system where there is a lot of information being entered uh, into the system. We've discussed in a previous lesson how notification rules can either send their not notification onto the screen or as an email and if it does need to be sent as an email then it needs to be sent from a particular user and so I've defined here the notification email name and the notification email address where the notification uh, is originated from. And we've got the options here to set different targets for those priority uh, messages and the desktop email, mobile email and SMS address uh, refer to the options that are set for the user inside uh, Sage CRM. So they all refer to data that is placed in placed inside the user screens when a user is set up uh, with inside Sage CRM. The maximum number of SLA actions refers to uh, the uh, the number of uh, escalation points within inside system timings and that is discussed in another lesson. Finally, use escalation service. The use escalation service refers to whether or not uh, escalation should be operating outside of the normal uh, logon environment of Sage CRM. If we're using uh, email notifications and we want those email notifications to be sent 24 by 7 when there are no users logged on into the system then the use escalation service has to be enabled and we would then need to make sure that the escalation service within our list of services has been enabled as well. If that's done and we have set the settings inside uh, the workflow and escalation configuration screen we are able to uh, have all the uh, emails that might be associated with a notification rule or an escalation rule being sent out uh, automatically from within the system. 
That then are the details of the workflow and escalation configuration screen inside Sage CRM.